Hello students, my name is Krishna Mohan, Maths Faculty Narayana Educational Society. Today we are going to discuss 29th Jan afternoon shift paper. This is a completely memory based problems are there. So all 30 problems are not available as well as the problems which we have may be some data or some here and there some problem may be there. Whatever the data we got from our students, we are going to discuss according to that. Okay. So let us start solving the paper. The first problem is based on probability, a very simple problem, very basic problem based on inclusion exclusion principle. Observe that he said that a set is given in which there are 50 elements are there. One number is selected at random from the set. Find the probability that number is multiple of 4 or 6 or 7. So if suppose I will say that A is multiple of 4, B is multiple of 6, C is multiple of 7. We need to find P of A union, B union, C. You know that this is P of A plus P of B plus P of C minus P of A intersection B minus P of B intersection C minus P of C intersection A plus P of A intersection B intersection C. So if I will ask you what is P of A means how many multiples of 4 are there? 50 by 4 greatest in year that is 12 multiples of 4 are there. Multiple of 6 there are 8. Multiple of 7 there are 7 and then if I will ask what is P of A intersection B, how many multiples of 4 and 6 means LCM is 12, so multiple of 12, 4 multiples of 12 are there, P of B intersection C, multiple of both 6 and 7, that is 1 only, 42, multiple of 42 and P of A intersection C, that is 4 and 7, that is multiple of 28, which is again 1. And if I will ask you what is how many multiples of A intersection, B intersection, C, obviously LCM is 84. So that quantity is 0. Now in the formula, if I will substitute P of A, this is not P, this is N of A, N of B number of elements. So what is P of A union, B union, C? It is 12 by 50 plus 8 by 50 plus 7 by 50 minus 4 by 50 minus 1 by 50 minus 1 by 50 plus 0 and if you calculate this you will get the answer as 21 by 50. Calculation part just check it simple LCM 50 12 plus 8 plus 7 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 and your answer will come. So this is come under a very simple problem only everybody should get this problem in the exam. Second problem is based on definite integration and again a very very basic problem very simple problem integration pi by 6 to pi by 3 root over of 1 minus sin 2x we can write as sin x minus cos x whole square dx and root over of x square remember that root over of x square is mod x so what you'll get here pi by 6 to pi by 3 mod of sin x minus cos x and if I will remove the modulus, obviously cos x is greater than sin x till pi by 4 and after pi by 4 till pi by 2, in fact up to 3 pi by 4, uh, sin is more than cos. But we need to check only up to pi by 6 to pi by 3. So simple break the modulus, what you will get? Pi by 6 to pi by 4, in this interval your cos is more than sin and from pi by 4 to pi by 3, we have sin is greater than cos. Now it's a very simple problem just to integrate cos x integration is sin x, sin x integration is minus cos x from pi by 4, pi by 6 to pi by 4, one minute, from pi by 6 to pi by 4 and plus minus cos x minus sin x from pi by 4 to pi by 3. Now these all these standard angles only you know all these values substitute and simplify I had already done the calculation part 2 root 2 minus root 3 minus 1 you will get just do the substitution and you will get the answer again a very simple problem. Now let us move to the third problem third problem based on relations and but again a very very simple problem he gave a set A in which there are four elements are there 1 2 3 4 and he asks you to add the minimum number of elements so that this will become an equivalence relation which already contain 1, 3 and 1, 2. Means in this relation, 
element 1, 3 and 1, 2 is already there. We have to make it a equivalence relation, means should be reflexive, symmetric and transitive. You know that reflexive relation means a relation R on A is reflexive, A comma A belongs to R, for all A belongs to A. So, in A 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4 must be there. Now, it is now reflexive. Now, to make it a symmetric, we have 1, 3. So, we need 3, 1 to make it symmetric. We have 1, 2. We need 2, 1 to make it symmetric. So, now, so far, you can just interchange A, B, B, A. Whenever A, B is there, B, A is there. You can just check it. So, now, it is so far, it is a symmetric relation. Now, let us check whether it is transitive or not. So, transitive, 1, 3, starting with 3, 3, 1, 1, 1 is there. 1, 2, starting with 2, 1, 1, 1 is there. Observe that. 3, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3 is there, 3, 1, 1, 2, observe that, 3, 1, 1, 2 is there, but I can't see 3, 2, so to make it a transitive relation, we need that 3, 2, but as soon I will take 3, 2, to again make it a symmetric, we need 2, 3, now check it, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, now you can just check, it is reflexive, every element if you interchange, other element you can find, so it is symmetric and you can check the transitivity also. So, how many elements we had added? 8 elements we had added. So, minimum how many elements required to make it an equivalence relation? 8 elements are enough. So, again, first 3 problems are very straightforward, very simple problem. Every student should get these 3 problems. Now, the fourth problem, although it is an easy problem, but little bit calculation is required. It is a combination of logarithm and sequence and series. Come on, he said that log A, log B, log C are in AP. You know that. If log A, log B, log C are in AP, that means A, B, C are in GP. So, first condition what we have is B square equal to AC. Like that only, log A minus 2 log B means log of A by 2B, log of 2B by 3C and log of 3C by A. These three are in AP means again. A by 2B, 2B by 3C, 3C by A, these are in GP. Apply the GP condition, 4B square by 9C square is equal to A by 2B into 3C by A. A, A got cancelled. Observe that 8B cube is 27C cube. So, we can say that 2B is equal to 3C or B by 3 3 is equal to c by 2 is suppose some lambda substitute here b is what 3 lambda means 9 lambda square is a into c is what 2 lambda 1 lambda lambda got cancelled so what is your lambda here lambda is equal to 2a by 9 so, B by 3 equal to C by 3 is equal to 2A by 9. So, observe that. If I will divide by, he need the ratio, he ask you the ratio of A is to B is to C. So, divide by 2, what you will get? A by 9 is equal to B by 6 is equal to C by 4. I can't see that option. Let us move to the next problem. It is a complex number problem. He gave a complex number z and he asked you to find its argument and modulus. So, come on, simple. What is r mod z? Root over of 4 plus 4 tan square 5 pi by 8. 4 will come out. 1 plus tan square theta secant square theta root over of secant square theta mod of secant 5 pi by 8. 8, but 5 pi by 8 is an angle in the second quadrant where secant is negative. So, this is minus 2 secant 5 pi by 8. So, can I write this as 2 secant pi minus 5 pi by 8? Come on. Secant pi minus theta minus secant theta. So, 8 minus 5 that is 2 secant 3 pi by 8. So, what is the modulus? 2 secant 3 pi by 8, see that. So, once you got this modulus, I think now only we can directly conclude the answer should be 2. But let us go for the argument also. What is the argument? Clearly, x coordinate is positive. 
and y value also a plus i b observe that tan second quadrant negative negative of negative positive so theta is directly tan inverse of minus 2 tan 5 pi by 8 by 2 tan inverse b by a because the point is in the first quadrant 2 common and cancel tan inverse minus theta minus tan inverse of tan 5 pi by 8 I can write this as minus of tan inverse tan pi minus 3 pi by 8 can I write in fact observe this minus sign I will cancel I hope you understand what I did here tan pi minus theta minus tan theta minus of minus plus now pi minus 3 pi by 8 came in the range of tan inverse so answer should be 5 pi by 8 so answer should be 8 minus 8 pi minus 5 pi by 8 that is simple 3 pi by 8 is the argument but again a little intelligence if we use no need to calculate according to the option we can directly come to the conclusion that 2 should be the answer if in case these are the options given but okay this is the way to find the argument also so again although it's a complex number problem but not so difficult it's a very simple problem only ha huh, another very very basic problem function given he is asking the interval where it is increasing or decreasing so we have to just check where the derivative is positive increasing function so very simple problem again what is f dash x u by v denominator derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of denominator by denominators square if you open the bracket what you will get here x square minus 6x minus 16 minus 2x square plus 6x by x square minus 6x minus 16 whole square observe that 6x 6x got x square minus 2x square minus minus if I will take common x square plus 16 by x square minus 6x minus 16 whole square see that perfect square plus 16 positive quantity denominator cannot be 0 so square again positive negative of positive this is always negative derivative is always negative so is it possible to be a function to be increasing no so answer should be null set again very very simple problem no complicated calculations also this year most of the students said that most of the problems of maths are based on little bit lengthy calculation but so far the problems which we got are not so lengthy calculation yes now this is the first problem we are getting where we have to do a little bit more calculation okay what he said alpha comma beta lies on the parabola so first of all alpha comma beta lies on the parabola means beta square is what 4 alpha and alpha beta also lie on a chord with midpoint 1 comma 4 for this one now what is the equation of the chord whose midpoint is given t equal to s1 so come on tell me what is t x minus 4 times of y plus 5 by 4 t x square replaced by x x1 and 4 times of 2y y is replaced by y plus 5 by 4 is equal to 1 minus 8 into 5 by 4 s1 means substitute the point in the equation 1 minus 8 into 5 by 4 open the bracket what you will get x minus 4y minus 5 is 1 minus 10 or x minus 4y plus 4 equal to 0 and he said that alpha beta lies on this also so it should satisfy the equation so what you will get alpha minus 4 beta plus 4 equal to 0 now this is a little calculation based problem but a very very simple calculation two equation two unknown substitute alpha from here what you will get beta square is equal to 4 times of alpha what is alpha 4 beta minus 4 come on simple called equation you can easily find the roots by using the formula what you will get here beta square minus 16 beta plus 16 equal to 0 come on so this is beta square minus 2 into 8 into beta plus 64 is equal to 64 minus 64 or beta minus 8 whole square is equal to 48 so beta minus 8 is equal to plus minus root 48 for root 3 so beta is equal to 8 plus minus 4 root 3 
and now come on tell me once you got beta can you get alpha also what is alpha 4 beta minus 4 check it so substitute beta here you will get alpha value once you have alpha and beta you just substitute here and simplification part you can do i guess after simplification we are getting the value is actually minus 192 again i think the typing error is there the answer is minus 192 achha, achha. but modulus is there na? so yes yes so i hope you can do the calculation substitute beta here you will get alpha substituted alpha and beta values here you will get the value as actually minus 1 by 2 he asked you modulus of that so answer will be 192 again see that the only problem in this particular year the students are facing is problems are not difficult I mean they it is not like that they don't know the concept they know the concept but calculation this much long cumbersome calculations are given otherwise paper is easy if you can handle this calculation part so yes this is the first problem where you have to do little bit more calculation but if you observe that first six problems there is very less calculation so you can save your time there and you can use it here let us move to the next problem yeah again a little bit calculation but again a very simple problem what he gave u and this one what is the angle between them pi by 2 so what is the angle formula apply the formula mod of a dot b that is what x by root 2 plus y by k na so z by root 2 is what 0 so x by root 2 plus z by root 2 is 0 so what you'll get here x plus z is 0 now u and second vector angle is what pi by 3 cos pi by 3 obvious of that these three are unit vectors and this is also given unit vector so no need to worry about their modulus value come on tell me second one dot product if you will take what you will get y by root 2 plus z by root 2 is equal to cos pi by 3 which is 1 so what you will get here y plus z is 1 by root 2 first equation x plus z 0 second equation y plus z is root 2 third equation you will get x plus y equal to 1 by root 2 now very simple three equation three unknowns you do the calculation part it's a very simple problem only you will get x as minus 1 by root 2 no 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 2 pi by 3 now so yes see that 2 pi by 3 so minus 1 by root 2 so all you will get x is minus 1 by root 2 y is 0 z is plus 1 by root 2 i had done the calculation part already you please check it once check this one satisfied y plus z satisfied x plus y satisfied yes see that so now you got x y z value means you got the vector u what is the vector u minus 1 by root 2 i y is 0 plus 1 by root 2 k now u you have and v you have so what is u minus v come on u minus v minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 2 by root 2 i minus 1 by root 2 j and this is cancelled so this is your u minus v now once you have u minus v you can find its modulus value also and that will give you what is that this is nothing but minus root 2 i minus 1 by root 2 j na? minus 1 by root 2 j so that is what root over of 2 plus 1 by 2 4 plus 1 root 5 by 2 answer should be first option let us check what is the answer given yes first option and this is you cannot say that here long calculation very very simple very very easy equations very easy simple calculations okay so this was problem number 8 let us move to the next one yes what he said the first term of a non-constant GP is 1 by 8 progression problem okay and every term is AM of next two terms so means he want to say that every term so AR power n minus 1 is arithmetic mean of next two term that is AR power n plus AR power n plus 1 by 2 a common and cancel R power n minus 1 also common and cancel what will get 2 equal to r plus r square or r square plus r minus 2 is 0 that is r plus 2 into r minus 1 is 0 so r is minus 2 or r is 1 but r cannot be 1 because clearly mentioned that non-constant gp so only possible value is what r equal to minus 1 by 2 now what he asked you sigma t20 minus sigma t18 means simply he is asking you to find the value of t19 plus t20 what is t19 a r power 18 
and T20 AR power 19. You have A value and you have R value. Just substitute what you'll get A common 1 by 18. So minus 2 power 18 plus minus 2 power 19. That is 1 by 18 to 2 power 18 minus 2 power 19. 1 by 18 into 2 power 18 common. 1 minus 2 is what? Minus 1. That is minus of 2 power 18 by 2 cube. That is 2 power 15. So answer should be minus 2 power 15. Again, a very simple problem. I don't think there is any complicated problem so far. But problem is out of 30 problems, only 17 problems are available with us. So maybe the remaining 13 problems student don't remember or that's why maybe they will be little bit more calculation part is there. So that I, data we don't have. Statistics problem is, I think there is no logic, nothing. Just formula based. If you remember the formula, substitute in the formula and your answer will come. See that. The mean of five observations. That is what. Suppose the observations are x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. So if these are the five observations, he gave sigma xi by 5. How much? 24 by 5. So we have sigma xi. How much? 24. And its variance. What is the variance sigma? Xi square by 5 minus sigma Xi by 5 whole square. How much? 194 by 25. Now, here since calculation will take time, that's why I had done the calculation separately. You will get sigma Xi square from here, you will get 154. Okay, and sigma Xi is how much? 24. Now, what he said that is the mean of first four observation means sigma x means he want to say that x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 by 4 is how much? 7 by 2. That is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is how much? 7 to the 14. And x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 we have how much 24 so directly we get the value of x5 how much 10 and now use this thing also sigma xi square and he said that then the variance of the first five observation means what he is asking you sigma xi square by 4 i varies from 1 to 4 minus sigma xi by 4 whole square i varies from 1 to 4. This is the value he asks you to find out. So, come on tell me. When you have sigma xi square means x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square plus x4 square, x5 just now we had calculated here, substitute, you will get this value and obviously we have this quantity also. So, just do the substitution and simplification part, you will get the variance as 5 by 4. Again, a very simple little bit calculation, but such type of calculation you frequently do in statistics problem. This is the minimum minimum calculation is required. So you cannot say that this is little lengthy problem or something. It's a very simple problem. Another very easy problem. Usually when they ask you to find the remainder, they used to give a very, very good problems, very complicated problems. But luckily the problem here is very simple. 64 power, 32 power, 32, 63 divisible by 9, 7 nines are 63. So we can write this as 1 plus. 63 power 32 power 32 which is what suppose this 32 power 32 i am taking as n so what is this 1 plus nc1 into 63 plus nc2 into 63 square plus and so on ncn into 63 power and observe that all these are multiple of 9 so can i say this is 1 plus 9k so when divided by 9 what is the remainder 1 so very means with no need to do this is just for um just I have to show some calculation. That's why I did this one. Otherwise, you can just see the question and you can keep the answer. Now, this is this is again areas problem. Such problems you had done many times, I guess. What are the two curves? Y equal to x square plus 2 and y equal to 2x plus 2. Minimum of these two. So, first of all, we have to draw these two graphs. What is the graph? Y equal to x square plus 2, x square graph shifting 2 units upwards and y equal to 2x plus 2. So, we need to find the roots first of all. So, x square plus 2 is equal to 2x plus 2, 2, 2 cancel. So, x is 0 or x is 2, the two curves are meeting at, so y equal to 2x plus 2 will go like this, that they are meeting at 0 and 
and 2. So we need the minimum of the 2 curve. What is the minimum of the 2 curve? The below part. Means still here it is x square plus 2. After that this is the line equation. Now he asks you up to area bounded up to 3. So come on, very simple. What is the area? This is the area he is asking you to calculate. That is integral 0 to 2x square plus 2 dx plus integral 2 to 3 what is the curve there? 2x plus 3. Come on, simple calculations. x cube by 3 plus 2x from 0 to 2 x plus x square plus 3x from 2 to 3. Apply the limits and simplify and you will get this value as again the simple calculation based problem. So, you will get after 12a you will get 164. I guess you can do the calculation just you have to apply the limits and simplify. Let us move to the next one again a very very I, so far I did not find any good problem but of course this particular uh, session in some other chap, uh, slots I found some very good problems were asked in maths actually. See that this is also direct formula beggars method what is the formula number of ways and identical things distributed in r different boxes n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 can be empty see that blank groups are admissible direct formula. 8 plus 4 minus 1 c, 4 minus 1. You can apply this formula and you will get the answer. A very, very simple problem again. Yes, here. This is again an easy but little lengthy problem because you have to do the differentiation two times. So, come on, tell me. What is f of x? Can I say this is ln of 1 minus x square minus of ln of 1 plus x square for simple calculations? So, if I will ask what is f dash x, come on log derivative 1 by 1 minus x square and minus x square derivative minus 2x here 1 by 1 plus x square into 2x this is the first derivative so let us calculate first derivative at half minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 minus of 1 by this is x square no? right 1 plus 1 by 4 that is this 4 will go in the numerator 4, 4 minus 1, 3, minus of 4 will go in the numerator 4 by 3, 4 by 5 sorry, 4 by 5. So that is LCM is 15, minus will come out, 5, 4 is a 20, 4, 3 is a 12, 20 plus 12, 32, minus 32 by 15 is F dash at half. Now let us go for F double dash, again simple only, what is F double dash? minus 2 into u by v denominator derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of denominator by denominator square minus of this one u by v again 2 is constant denominator derivative of uh, here derivative of numerator is 1 na? 1 minus x square denominator, derivative of x is 1 minus numerator, derivative of denominator by denominator square. Here also denominator, derivative of numerator 1 minus numerator, derivative of denominator 2x by denominator square. Here also substitute 1 by 2. That's direct substitution only. Put x equal to 1 by 2 and I had done the simplification and just simplify, substitute and simplify, you will get the answer as 736, I guess. Just you have to do the substitution and simplification part, quite easily it can be done, okay. Let us move to the next problem. Yes, a little bit calculation part. Forget about the right hand side, let us first solve the left hand side. What you will do? Take cos 2x common, what left? 3 plus cos square 2x. And what is the denominator? Come on. Uh, can you see something like a cube minus b cube? That is cos square x minus sin square x a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Cos square x minus sin square x cos 2x. Cos 2x cos 2x got cancelled. So, this is 3 plus cos square 2x by you know that sin power 4x plus cos power 4x, 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x plus sin square x cos square x. That is 3 plus cos square 2x by 1 minus sin square x 
cos square x multiply and divide by 4 that is 3 plus cos square 2x by here LCM is 4, 4 will go in the numerator, 4 minus sin square 2x. But if you convert this sin square 2x in terms of cos square x, I think this and this will get cancelled. Means left hand side after simplification is what? 4. So your problem will become x cube minus x square plus 6 equal to 4 or x cube minus x square plus 2 equal to 0 is the equation. What he asked? Find the sum of the roots. So clearly what is the sum of the roots? 1. Directly minus b by a, no? So yes, the answer should be 1. A very basic problem again. Ha, huh, this is a little good problem because it's an homogeneous differential equation. Can you see that? What is that? dy by dx. Homogeneous equation. An equation in x and y is homogeneous if f of kx comma ky is k power n into f of x comma y. You can just check it. The dy by dx value is what? Can I say this is y cos y by x plus x by x cos y by x. Just check it. This thing will satisfy. So numerator, denominator, both are homogeneous. So this total expression is homogeneous. How do you solve the homogeneous equation? If you remember, put y equal to vx. So what is dy by dx? v plus x dv by dx. Let us do this substitution. What will get v plus x? dv by dx is, y is what? vx, vx into cos of y by x is what? v plus x by x cos v, x common and cancel. So, x dv by dx is equal to v cos v by cos plus 1 by cos v minus v that is x dv by dx is equal to v cos v plus 1 minus v cos v by cos v. So v cos v, v cos v got cancelled. Now it's simple, variable separable. Cos v dv is equal to dx by x. Integrate on both sides. Cos integral sin v sin v is equal to ln x plus c. But what is v? y by x. So, sin of y by x is ln x plus c. Are That is, nothing is there. I think he already solved the problem. Why he gave this? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay. Chalo, whatever. So, if you compare, what is your c value actually? Alpha by 2. Compare. So, c is what? alpha by 2. Now, he gave f of 1 is pi by 3. So, put x is 1 and y is pi by 3. Sin pi by 3 root 3 by 2 log 1 0 is what? Alpha by 2. So, what is alpha? 2 2 got cancelled. Alpha is root 3. So, what is alpha square value? 3. I am sure that a student did not remember the problem exactly, I guess. They will not give you like this. Otherwise, there is nothing is there in the problem. He already solved the problem actually. Okay. So, mostly <laughs> still we cannot say anything. But again, if suppose this thing is given, then no need to do this much calculation also directly here, substitute and you will get the value of alpha. That does not make any sense. Chala, let us move to the next problem, whatever. Huh, this is another easy question only. See that what he said, OA and OC, area of the triangle is S, parallelogram. Okay, observe that it is a parallelogram, O, A, B, C. O is how much? A bar. OC is how much? B bar. So, what is the area of the triangle OAC, which is S given? You know that is half mod A cross B. But to observe that a parallelogram whose sides parallel to OA and OB. Okay, okay. So, and diagonal OB. Come on, diagonal OB, how much given? 12A plus 4B. I mean, this should be 12A. This should be 4B. Then you will get the parallelogram whose diagonal is what? 12A plus 4B. So, if you ask me what is the area of the parallelogram, which is he mentioned as B, I can clearly say that B is 12 fours are 48 times of mod of A cross B. That is 48 times of what is mod of A cross B? 2S. So, what is B by S? 48 twos are 96. Another very, very basic, very simple problem actually. 
let us see the next okay these are the problems which are available with us and unfortunately i think the problems which we have are very of very basic level only we did not find any long calculation or difficult problem except two or three and those are also not very heavy calculations but in other papers i found that some problems are there which are very conceptual very basic concept he asked but lot of calculation he asked so, so this slot i guess this is whatever the problems available we have based on that we can say that it's a very simple easy slot only for maths also not very hectic or lengthy calculation and i really wish you all i hope all of you did well in case no then still don't worry you have another chance in the april attempt you can do much better and then i hope you will do well in advance also all the very best to all of you thank you <laughs>